So I had this great idea and it required me to open up a crystal. So I've clamped a crystal into the vise and I'm using a Dremel tool to cut off the can of the crystal with, hopefully without uh, disrupting the crystal too much. And so that did take a while, but it worked out better than I thought. Here's the crystal once it's been removed from the metal can. And it's a piece of quartz with some type of metal coating on both sides. I don't know if it's silver or something like that. And it's held by the edges so it can vibrate. And one of the wires contacts one side and the other wire contacts the other side. Here we can look under the microscope and see it closer up. So the legs of the crystal go through little glass uh, insulators before they exit. All right, I'm going to need to make the crystal oscillate. So I've shown this before. It's my uh, crystal tester. So I place the crystal in. We need to apply 12 volts and I'll take the output over to a frequency counter. My frequency counter is locked to a rubidium standard, so it's quite accurate. So my idea for the video was to try and see if I could modify the resonant frequency of the crystal by adding weight to it. I had watched another video that another YouTuber had done, and um, back in the old days you could actually disassemble crystals and you could sand them down and make them thinner and change the oscillating frequency and then put them back in the case. The, the case uh, allowed you to actually remove the um, piece of quartz, but the, the new crystals don't. So he was doing some uh, experiments where he was removing metal, the, the, that metal plate, it's a, it's a deposition of metal onto the quartz. He was actually sanding that away and getting the frequency to change a bit. And he was also using a graphite pencil to I don't know, draw on the thing, add, add a bunch of graphite, and that seemed to change the resonant frequency also. Um, so I thought, well, maybe he's just adding and subtracting weight. Maybe that's all he's doing. So let me see if you can actually make a scale out of a crystal and weigh things. So I needed something tiny to weigh, so I just figured some surface mount resistors would be just perfect. So there's enough room for me to put a surface mount part onto the crystal. And I can stack up two or three more parts and uh, see if we can see any difference in the resonant frequency. So the following, I have an inset picture of my frequency counter and it's displaying a lot of digits, so it's not updating very fast. You need to watch the gate LED. Every time the gate LED flashes, that's when it, that's when it updates. It's once every couple seconds. So I'm having a little trouble getting the parts to balance onto the crystal, and it's suspect of the frequency change that I get or the non-frequency change that I get. So I lost some video of the inset uh, frequencies, but I did do quite a bit of experimentation and found that it really I couldn't see anything reliable. What I saw very reliable was the temperature changes. The temperature changes in the room affected the oscillation frequency more than anything else. So it was very difficult to know whether it was the temperature changing or me putting extra weight onto the crystal. So I think, I think the extra weight may reduce the resonant uh, amplitude, but maybe not the frequency. Um, so anyway, it was sort of a failed experiment, but it was fun to try. And you know, if you don't try, you'll never find anything new.